ladies and gentlemen, please welcome former senior advisor to the 45th president and host of the Kimberly Guilfoyle Show, Kimberly Guilfoyle. Yes, we do. And thank you to Mercedes and Matchlap for having us all here, an incredible group of fearless patriots. And we are just getting started. And thank you all for joining the conversation and being part of the conservative solutions to returning our country to prosperity, for growing the America First movement, and for wanting to make America great again. We are gathered here in our nation's capital at an inflection point in our nation's history, a point where Joe Biden, the Democrats, big tech, and their willing allies in the media are hell-bent on taking their far-left agenda mainstream. And frankly, destroying all of our lives. But we're not going to let them do it, are we? That's right. We're going to say no to open borders chaos, defunding police disasters, attacks on U.S. energy independence, surrendering to climate alarmists, reckless spending, turning our schools into far-left indoctrination centers, no more lockdowns, lawlessness, far-left lunacy, censoring viewpoints who dissent, and then, of course, calling you a bigot if you dare to question any of it. Did I miss anything? Under Joe Biden, yeah, there's a lot more, right, Matt? Under Joe Biden, sadly, we are a nation in decline, a nation sowing doubt among our allies, and a nation emboldening our biggest adversaries. Remember the disastrous withdrawal in Afghanistan, which would have never happened under President Trump, where we abandoned our fellow Americans, surrendered to the Taliban as chaos ensued. Did Joe Biden take responsibility for any of it? Has this administration ever accepted blame for any of their delusional, destructive, diabolical, and dangerous actions? We all know the answer. And it's why we are here at CPAC. Because all of us in this room have one message to Joe Biden. It is time to put America first. to put common sense, hard-working Americans first, to put our brave border patrol first, to put our police and first responders first, to put parents first, leave our children alone, to put the residents of East Palestine, Ohio first, like President Trump did while Biden was in Ukraine. God bless President Trump. It is time to put all of us, all of Americans, first and not last like Joe Biden and his administration have done. And I have seen the far left failures in places like California, and we don't want that. Keep that there, right? That's what Democrats want for the rest of the country. Where Democrats are in charge, crime goes up, costs go up and quality of life goes down. It's why we as America First conservatives have an obligation to lay out an agenda that centers around border security, national sovereignty, free and fair trade deals, law and order, school choice, safety and security, peace through strength. <laughs> Foreign policy, freedom of speech, thank you CPAC. The right to keep and bear arms. We love our Second Amendment. And election integrity. Never let another election be stolen in this country. And while the entrenched politics, we are fed up with securing our borders. These people have not done anything to secure the borders. We are fed up with one bait and switch spending bill after another. Fed up being pawns in their cheap political games. 
fed up with being told we're the problem for calling it out. We have the courage to call it out. And most of all, fed up with the far left failure in the White House who can't even string a sentence together or walk up and down a flight of stairs. Really? No more of the bend and snap Joe Biden. We got to quit him. Let us not forget, under Donald Trump, we achieved historic energy independence. Under Biden, we're now begging evil regimes to pump more oil while we drain our strategic reserves. No more. Under Donald Trump, we took out the world's top terrorists and Putin didn't invade anywhere. But under Biden, hostile actors are ramping up their aggression, China is as emboldened as ever, and Beijing Biden refuses to hold them accountable. Under Donald Trump, we achieve historic peace deals in the Middle East. We saw robust wage growth, even amid a phony Russia hope, and endless investigations against Donald Trump and the family. Under Donald Trump, it was a time for success a vision for a better future, a whole lot of hope, and a whole heck of a lot of winning. Are you tired of winning? No, we want Trump back, let's be honest. But the Democrats, big tech, and the media would rather see hardworking Americans fail and suffer than admit to any of those successes. While we might find comfort in believing that their behavior is just a matter of incompetence, the truth is actually far more troubling. The pain they are inflicting is intentional. Because meanwhile, we continue to confront a totally compromised and corrupt two-tiered justice system. While there's one rule for Democrats, there's one rule for the rest of us. They have weaponized our agencies, the DOJ and the FBI. And it's one of the many reasons why you have all shown up here today and had the courage by just even being here and for me, returning us, this country, to greatness is just that. Courage, that's what we need to have. We're here to celebrate the innovation, the prosperity, the accomplishments, and the success of America, and not to be ashamed of it. We are proud to be born free Americans, are we not? <laughs> to promote the values that make this nation great, like free speech, free markets, freedom to pursue your own happiness, freedom to accomplish your goals without the heavy hand of government getting in the way. Now remember, this country was founded on an experiment of self-governance and democracy, and we became the greatest force for good the world has ever seen. But now more than ever, there are nefarious forces at work to make us apologize for it, to make us ashamed for what we should be proud of. Because remember what this is all really about for the left. It is about undermining your ability to make the decisions that are best for you and for your family. It's about getting you to surrender your dignity and entitlement to the state that runs on never-ending victimhood. And it's about silencing and censoring anyone who dares to speak out. It's why we, together, have to and we will stand strong and remind our fellow Americans what this country really stands for and what its full potential really is. And the good news is, conservatives all across the country are rising up, rising up to meet the moment, registering new voters, running for school board, battling for our children, and battling for our future. We are the backbone demanding action and accountability. The backbone demanding that government be responsive to the needs of hardworking, common sense Americans. Because the time for real accountability is long past due. And the time for action could never be more urgent. We have to remind ourselves that our mission does not come without responsibility. It's why I'm here at CPAC. It's why now, more than ever, free and independent voices are so valuable. It's why I have a new show on Rumble where facts come first and where news is done right. They cannot cancel or censor us. We have to be relentless in the battle to protect and preserve the American dream. And it's why I am so proud, deeply proud, to introduce our next incredible speaker who shows no 
fear, who stands up to the left-wing rage mob every single day, who is America first always, and who stands shoulder to shoulder with all of us in our quest to take this country forward, take this country on the road to prosperity, and to take this country to a place where we can and we will say it with me, make America great again. And here now, the son of the 45th and I think 47th president of the United States, Donald Trump Jr.